Hello, welcome to the Scale Model Club. And on this week's show, we paint Sammy as Repsol Holder. Good luck, everybody. Hang on for the ride. Hello everybody, welcome to back to the Scar Model Club. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, push that notification bell. Uh, it's been a while since I've been modelling. Uh, a few things have got in the way and also this bike has just killed my mojo. It was a nightmare. The first half, obviously we've all seen the first video and I was really happy with it. Really nice frames, nice chains, nice wheels, tyres, forks. Just, yeah, really happy with what I did. Then what happened is I came to paint in the outside of it. Uh, the seat, fuel tanks, front fairing, or the headlight fairing, would be headlight fairing, but obviously it's got no headlights. Um, and they've all been undercoated in white, which is nice. Nice went on nicely. I used Tamiya white to undercoat it with. <coughs> Now I've got some uh, black primer from Vallejo and I'm doing what would be, I don't know what it is, so the bike is part of the fuel tank. Now I wish I hadn't done this because you don't see any of it and all it did was create me problems and shadows. Anywho, so here's the black going on, went on really nicely. And now this is the seat and sort of underneath the seat, which you're also not going to see. Uh, and also did inside the fairing, so inside the front fairing. I mean, you know, the, the actual bike, you could probably find yourself some nice um, carbon fibre decals for it. I didn't have them. So I painted the inside black with the fairings, the bottom skid pan, belly pan, all with the airbrush, same airbrush I always use. Right now, it comes with these masking plans. Now, these are quite good. These are exactly the same shape as what you need. Now, I couldn't pick them off, so I'm assuming you had to cut round the lines. So I did cut round the lines. So you need yourself a really sharp knife, cut round the lines, and you'll cut yourself out an exact shape that you need to mask that front fairing headlight. And they're brilliant masks. It didn't help in one bit, but I do like them. They're a really good idea. Hope everybody had a nice Christmas. Hope everybody had nice New Year's celebrations. Hope everybody's nice and well. And I hope everybody's still enjoying the model club. So carefully cut round all the lines and then pick out your piece of masking so it will be a, a specific shape. It took me a while to work out where they all go. So I've moved that to one side, got my front fairing, got the instructions to see how the uh, paint job goes. And which bits you're masking off first. I've never tried masking any other model. Oh no, hang on. Have I not? No, I haven't. No, yes I have. The uh, Edward Spitfires. But the Edward ones come pre-cut so you can just pick them off. But as I said, I was I wasn't happy with the outcome of the model. The paint job just was awful. The decals wouldn't work. It just it was an awful, 
awful model. But it's nothing wrong with the model. The model is brilliant. Quite happy go and buy one. They're, 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 it's, it's a lovely kit. It fits together nicely. Everything's where it should be. I just lost my model in mojo with it. You'll see why in the video. I tried to sort it out as best I could, and I think the I think the, the end. No, I'm not happy with the end one. If I, if I had my way, I would strip all of the body panel parts and spray them all again. But I do struggle. It's because it's not a World War II bomber or a tank. That's the problem. I struggle with cars or bikes. Can't seem to get that nice polished look on them. But we'll keep trying. Never give up. As a famous person once said, how hard can it be? So you go, that's stuck on. Uh, and that has masked off exactly where they want the certain colour to go. We'll carry on doing this for a bit. I think it's quite nice to see all of this. Um, because I don't do it very often. It's not something that comes up on many of the models. And it's quite specific colours. I bought Tamiya's aerosol cans to do this because I wanted the right orange and the right red. Um, I'm, and I'm not very good at mixing colours. So I wanted the actual colours sprayed right out of the can. What I should have done was gone and picked those colours in Tamiya paints and just airbrushed them like I always do. But no, I thought I'd try the aerosol cans. But this is going alright for the minute. It's a bit fiddly. But I can highly recommend the model, although I moan about how it turned out. It's all user error. The model itself is fantastic, again from Tamiya. Everything clicks together where it's supposed to be. Everything fits nicely. These masks were, were brilliant. To be fair to them, they you cut them out and they fitted exactly where you needed them to fit. So, we painted them with the orange and the red, the aerosol cans. And now we're going to remove the paint and the mask. So I was, you know, let's just take the other half of the mask off. But the major problem I had with this as you'll see when I show the camera is the paint bleed under the tape and from that point on everything went tits up so you see a little bit of blade there so what I thought I'd do is well let that dry see the red just bled all over the white and just oh and as for the tank did that what was that all about <laughs> That bit came out really nicely, to be fair. Look at that. Shiny. And that was the only bit that did come out nicely. So we'll take the tape off the bottom of that. So what I did was... I put some masking tape back on the places that I didn't want to paint, like the red and the orange. And then I spray painted white over it to try and counteract the overspill. As for the petrol tank, I, I sanded it down as best I could, painted it again, I had another reaction, sanded it down again, painted it again, Just whatever I did, it, I couldn't sort it out. I eventually had one good cop, one good paint on it and left it. And what really annoyed me when you'll see it when you put the bike together is that it's a totally different colour uh, to the other half of the tank. <clears throat> so let me try and put the air ducts in twice and we'll just drop one floor. And as you can see, can't you? It, it's starting to, it, it's slipping away. The model is slipping away. How I didn't get to the point of yeeting it out of the side of the office, I don't know. So here we go. Here are all the bits. Um, I've given all of them a little, the white is a, as sharp a sand as I could. I'll mask them all up again. This is just standard masking tape because it can't go any worse than the other masking tape.
So that's the aerosol. So I sprayed the aerosol on. Give it another coat. So second time round, we'll just take off some of the masking tape and have a look and see what we got. The other thing that annoyed me a little bit is when I originally showed you that had a little bit of a bleed, I was like, oh, I'll have to try and sort this out. The decals come in two sets of decals, and one of the decals has the white stripe that the Repsol is printed on. So I could have just nicely stuck a Repsol sticker across the front and covered it all up, not had to try and sort out my shoddy paintwork. We'll put up that, we'll put the like and subscribe button there so no one can see how bad it is. So here we have the bike, see that part? That's all right, I've got the seat on now. I've put the uh, the seat, the fuel tank, that all comes in lots of different bits. So let's throw the tiny screwdriver away because the, the fuel tank is all held on with little tiny screws, which is nice. So it's a beautiful kit. I'd, I'd love the fact that the, the fairings and everything are screwed on properly. The wheels are all screwed in. I screw them up tight. If you leave them loose, they will quite happily turn. The brakes calipers are in two bits, so the disc will roll. And if you fit the chain properly, I didn't, I glued it on. Uh, the back wheel will turn as well. My back wheel won't turn because I glued the chain in place. So I'm not, I don't need the wheels to move. But yeah, looking quite nice. So happy with that. It's getting there. I got to the point where I was like, oh, I don't know, it might turn out okay after all. We clipped the rear fairing in because I repainted that. That didn't come out too badly. In the end, I sanded that right down almost and pan painted it. But look, you slide this on the back. Look how well this clicks in. Yep, clip, and, and it's there. Beautiful. So we're feeling a little bit happier about it. Obviously, you can see the belly pan there. We painted the bottom black. I put all the sponsorship on there. They look quite nice. So I was happy with the bottom of that. There we go. You can still see the the tail is a bit ha you know it's a bit hand painted and I've still got more white bleed on that and like I said with that the little belly pan came out nicely Ooh. so this is the sides I painted the sides the same so I painted them white to start with painted the inside black Cut the masking tape off the little sheet, pop the masking tape onto the side so you get the Repsol pan. And that's the orange. I think I then found more, you have to put more, so you, so you do the orange first with that sticker, you then put another you cut out another piece of sticker to put on the bottom half to create the red circle. There you go, at the bottom there. It's just finding the right side. There's a lot of there's a lot of looking at the instructions, looking at the stickers, looking at the instructions, looking at the stickers. Because they are very because the fairing's got so many holes and air holes in it, it's such an awkward shape to get masked. But I was very, although the although the paint slips under this masking tape, which I don't think it is the masking tape problem, I will all blame user error. Um, it is really nice to have these paint masks to give you an idea of where the paint scheme should go. It just justifies the price of the kit. It's quite an expensive kit, but when you get nuts bolts um stickers uh springs brake lines and the masking tape that all comes with it i, I could highly recommend it 
perhaps not for a beginner because these bikes seem to be a little on the complicated side but if you've done a couple of airfix models I'd definitely give one a go it's only the second bike I've done after doing the Italieri Norton or Manx Norton which is a really good kit I must admit I know lots of people moaned about it but if you take your time with it it's not a bad kit at all so that's more masking more spraying still using the aerosol Tamiya's I should have really you could have decanted it out of the aerosol as I've learned and put it in the uh, airbrush but I'm not 100% sure how you do it so so we've done the red and the white's been redone the orange has been redone and it, I've just I've still got paint bleed all over the place And then couldn't get the masking table. So you can you can sort of see where it's going. I, I, do you know what? I, I, I really do what I do, I, I do what I do another one because it's such a nice looking bike with a nice colour scheme. Just not for about another ten years. Put that masking tape off the bottom. We've just got the actual masking tape to come off. And you think you're new there. You finally got to the point where you think, well, it's, it's all right. I can cope with the paint job. It, it's not exactly what I'd like. It's not what I imagined, but I can work with it. I can work with it. So the next job, there's the two. Looking all right, is to put some decals on. So... Put the decal on into some warm water, let that soak off. Pushed it off the backing paper onto where I wanted it. See where I see what I mean by say it's got a white background to the decal. So I'm thinking, brilliant, this is going to cover up a lot of the problems I had with the uh, with the paint bleed. Now not didn't quite get it on the right place and it just it was not gonna move i had so many problems with it i just, just i thought i'll manhandle it about because it's a big it's a big sticker so then i thought no I'm, I'm i'm not happy with it i'm just gonna try and pull it off and i think i might try and reposition it wasn't playing ball you get them sometimes don't you it's just not happening so I think nope I'm gonna pick my tweezers up I'll gently pull it off and we'll try and reposition it after a minute and then so no no I'm not happy with it I'm gonna try and do this again gently get this up ah ripped it so that side beautiful look at that lovely this side haven't now got a decal for it and also there's paint bleed everywhere so i'm just going to fit it to the bike once i've fitted it to the bike i'm going to sand that side down mask everything up paint it all by hand and then put the uh, last sticker last decal i have for it on there which won't have the white background this is a little bit awkward because you, you do have to this isn't the right way to fit it, but I found this was an easier way. So I've screwed both the side panels to the belly pan, pop the belly pan on, and then just squeeze the sides up the bike. And eventually it will go click into place. All the holes will line up and you just screw the uh, fairing on. There we go, click. That's it. Lovely. So now that's in place, we can just screw that on. I'm not 100% sure, did I put the, uh, I mean the fairing's got to go on. 
Um, the fairing's now got the glass fitted to it, which I fitted with Rebel Contact to clear. Put the last decals on that and they didn't break. So the only thing I'm really missing is Repsol written on that side. So that's the front fairing going on. That clicks on and you need, once you click that into place, there's two little screws to hold that on as well. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed me royally ruining that model and come back for more when I ruin more models. So there we go. So yeah, it, uh, as it goes now, it's looking all right. Looking all right. So all I've got to do is paint the little camera on the back black and re-sort out the fairing on one side. I didn't use lots of the decals because I did paint more than you. It has got decals at the bottom, barely pan for black bits, and but I just ended up painting them black. The seat was painted a matte black. Um, actually, I think I painted it a rubber black. And I also painted the hand grips in a rubber black. So now we just got to screw this on without dropping any of the screws. And I've also got to just give the exhaust there a, a lick of some dark iron, a bit, a bit of powder to make it look a bit exhausty. But normal service is resumed. I'm back on it. Might be a couple of weeks till the next video, but uh, we're back on aircraft. Uh, but I was just, I, I did enjoy, I, I, like the first half of the build, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it right up until the point that I used the masking tape and the aerosol cans. Um, I'm not. I genuinely don't know what went wrong. I always have trouble with bleeding with masking tapes. I don't know whether I'm going to have to start trying to find like a fine line tape that has a rubber edge, so that you can't bleed underneath it. Or okay, I'm not 100% sure. Might be the choice of. I mean, I always painted the white first because obviously you can't paint white over red or orange because it'll tint the colour. But. I genuinely couldn't tell you what went wrong. As for the petrol tank, that I no idea. The aerosol just didn't like it. So I had to, I, I mean, four times I sanded that down and repainted it. I repainted it so many times, you'll find that there's not a fuel cap fitted in it at the end because it, I just had too much paint in there. And I'd lost it and just needed to get the model finished so I could do something else. doesn't happen very often but it uh, does happen so here we go so I've sanded it all down I've popped a line of masking tape across the front of it I've got myself some red Tamiya there and it's pretty much the same color I've watered it down a little because I already watered them down I thin them down in the pots so that uh, and then it just needs two or three coats of the red So once you've done two or three coats, you won't have the brush marks in it, he says. Also, next time I do one of these, I will paint the side trims, decal the side trims, and then clear varnish them, and then fit them to the bike. Because you can't really, I can't clear varnish them now because you've got rubber grips, rubber tires, um, <coughs> All stuff that you, it's really awkward to mask, and I've just, I'd had enough by now. It'd been a break as well. I'd, I had, I had built the bottom half. I painted the sides. I got so angry with the sides. Thought, no, no, put it down, give it a rest. And honestly, three months later, I'm still thinking, I don't want to pick it up again. So last but not least, let's get these 
get these decals on. Also, not having the clear coat on the first lot probably stops you from shifting the decals about. I was using Mark Fit from Tamiya to to move the decals about, but get take that out of the way. But as you can see from my mat, there's orange is just, just everywhere. So that's warm water, just warm water. Put it in there for about 10 seconds, wait until it moves about the paper. Paint on your mark fit. And then slide the decal in place and you've got a few minutes to be able to slide it into exactly the place that you want it. A little bit of mark fit to get it to stretch round some of the awkward parts of the fairy. There we go, dip it in. I know we've all seen decals before, but I thought it'd be nice to see something that actually went right with the build. See, I think I've, I think I've actually lost more hair during the build. I never had much to start with. So a bit more fit strong. A little bit of this on. All the touch-up bits have been done by my hands. The camera at the back. A few little other bits and pieces here and there. And I'm now calling that done. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Push the notification bell. And I'm sorry that that went all wrong, but see you next time for more aircraft shenanigans. Laters.